this video I'm going to point out that I'm your spiritual leader. For the lost sheep, I am here. I'm not racist against the Asians and, and the samurai and the Mongols. and You know, I talk about this stuff. I point out the fact that the Mongols had a bigger empire than Rome and etc. What I am simply saying is that my ancestors played a part too. And when it comes to Egypt, they played the biggest part. And when it comes to spreading out their genes, they spread out their genes the most in the Mediterranean and the Middle Eastern area, according to the Bible and according to history. Of course, I wasn't there, but everything points toward that. Until we find some fucking magical fucking artifact that would confound common sense and everything pointing it in the same direction, that's what it is. So, why let the liars create a false per uh, perception and image in your mind? There's low and high context cultures. Africans are an oral culture, okay? We speak about things orally, and we pass things down orally, okay? While the white man's treating his fucking faggot homeboy in in a uh, cave somewhere in the Caucasus Mountains, you know what I'm saying? Okay? The Edomites were in Israel. They had fucking mountains in Israel. Oh, Timon's Mountains and shit, right? Esau, Edomites. Okay? They migrate. They mix with the people in the Caucasus. That's the tribes of Edom. They migrate through Russia and become the Khazars. Okay? My message is the same. The rivers in Egypt, the white and blue Nile, the many little estuaries in, in the delta, the many little mini rivers they have there, you know what I'm talking about. The message stays the same. Ham begot Cush, Cush begot Nimrod, the sons, the Saura, sons of Ra. Okay? What was the movie? Tears of the Sun trying to say. It was trying to say that the sun is synonymous with the sun in a metaphor that comes from Africa. The S-U-N and the S-O-N. It's also trying to say that the Ebos are the good guys. So, listen to the good guys. Let the good guys have the final say for once. And to all the Crip gang leaders and all the blood gang leaders and the street gang leaders on the street, you can still run your defense the way you want. Okay, when it comes specifically to the gangs in California and the Crips, specifically, I make the policy as far as the spiritual policy. I'm the spiritual leader. You can have your fucking little, you know, racket, whatever you want. That's none of my affair. My affair is bringing them to God. And given them the choice. It hasn't intensified to the point where I've removed you scum. Who would go against me. You know there's some people who. There's always some motherfucker. Who doesn't like what he's hearing. And wants things to be his way. And says oh oh do, do what I want you to do. When they don't even know you. And they have no influence at all. In the greater picture. And they're nobody in the greater picture. But they want to be somebody. By confounding what you say. Okay, I'm faced with a lot of those people. And I deal with them. I deal with them all the time. I said, I'll take any one of you guys or all of you at once. If that's what it takes. If you want me to build an army and take all of you at once, fine. Because when we're dealing with God and the devil, of course I'm not going to back down. If the question is, am I going to leave my people to be preyed on by a bunch of Uncle Toms who have sold out to the white power structure, or, or some snitches who have infiltrated their group? The answer is no. I'm not. And the question is, are you going to help me bring the black people to God and enforce my decrees? Or are they going to be simply sayings and wise quotes passed on from me to my few followers who are applying them in their daily lives? Jesus has the keys. He's not just the resurrection, the way, the truth, and the light, the life, the light of the world, the good shepherd, the lamb. He has the keys. He sits by God, on the right hand of God. Jesus plays the role of God in many cases. 
He acts on his behalf. He's embodied the message in the spirit and the word. He is the great messenger. He is the good shepherd, the great shepherd, the great fisherman. He is the Messiah, the anointed one, the Christos, the Christ, the King of kings, Lord of lords. He is the gate. He is the path, the way. That's why I say I'm a Christian and a Muslim, because I know Islam is just another sect of Christianity. Ahmed Didat was able to win many debates because he's using the same principles as God. Everybody's confused. I'm here to say, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. They're all wrong. You all got it wrong. Just like in Revelations, to the church in Laodicea, to the church in Paragamum, to the church at Thyatira, what is he saying? He's saying, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Thanks for coming out. And I'm here to enforce the one true word. I'm not here to co-opt any movement, to usurp any movement. I am here to bring my people to God. Just like you lay claim on that park or neighborhood or that drug racket, or that woman, or whatever it may be, that car, that parking lot, that parking space. Just like I have walked with you and shared the same path. I have stood with you and shared the same place. I have stood in your shoes. And I am offering you a chance to stand with me. So I can mend not only your wings, but your mind, body, and soul, and your connection with the Lord, the source of the light, and the light that he is shining on you. The light he is causing to come down and shine on you. He is shining on you through the light. I am your spiritual guide, not your military dictator. Not no fascist fucking asshole. Not no secret society member trying to usurp your movement. I offer all my people and all those from other peoples as well who I can trust a chance to share everything I know. A chance to sit at the table and not have a last supper but a never ending one. I stand with my people and I stand with all people when I tell the Illuminati stop causing strife and quarrels I demand you immediately halt your wicked devil policies your fuel subsidies and your manipulation thereof because even if you didn't directly manipulate the policies of good luck Jonathan, you did so in a roundabout way by controlling the money, the technology, the oil. You give the Iranians ammo to execute innocent people and spies unjustly and to challenge to challenge your very policies, your UN mandates. Why was Gaddafi complaining about the General Assembly not having enough power and the security councils using the think tanks and their foreign fucking interests, their globalist interests, their collective collectivism, collective interests? They have a very high context culture, as well as a very low context culture at the same time. Why? Because the context and the content of the context is quite abundant 
in their vaults and libraries. As well as them sending scribes and English colonists and historians like Herodotus, Josephus, emperors like Hadrian, Nero, Augustus, Tiberius, Do you understand there is a reason why the Romans were wicked there is a reason why the Mafia is connected to the banks and there is a reason why I've been pointing it out since I was little since before Wu-Tang and their enter 36 chambers since before Cain and Abel and his Illuminati albums since before the rappers were bringing it up to me I knew the devil was there and conspiring since first fucking grade Mrs. Sullivan since third grade Mrs. Saw I believe it was and how I had gotten a wrestle match with kids and all these kids were trained to use violence but I was trained just to wrestle people wrestle my brothers you don't hit each other and how they would resort to hitting me because they couldn't beat me any other way and how I would win anyway and how I would always step up to the bullies and to the gangs and circles of bullies as well and even now there are some virtues that you don't grow out of there are some things that even a child has the maturity and presence of mind to understand that are right, that are carried on throughout life. I say use the sword of God and not the torch and the flames from Satan. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not rip each other off. Do not defraud each other. Honor thy father and thy mother. There is no greater way to honor your mother and father than to serve the Lord, even if it contradicts their policies. I'm going to end the video right here because I'm tempted to go on, but last time I did 22 minutes and YouTube messed up, so I'm going to hopefully have... A chance to upload this if I end it right now even though it's 13 minutes and it's unlucky say a little prayer to contra you know to confound Satan's power with that number Satan you have no power your numerology means nothing God is the one true creator you're a piece of shit Seti I served your bitch ass last night I'll do it again Amen